Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We want to talk to you about the relationship between continuity, something being continuous, and differentiability, something being differentiable or we're able to find the derivative of it, the relationship between those two things. So if a function has a graph that's smooth over the entire real number line, then it is both continuous and differentiable. Okay, I should be able to find, say at this point that is smooth, I should be able to find the slope of a tangent line. It's also continuous, meaning that the graph is connected at that point, there's no break in the graph. Polynomials are great examples of this. Here you can notice I have f of x equals or y equals 1 fourth x cubed minus x. When we have whole number positive powers of x, those are polynomials. Polynomials are good examples of functions that are continuous everywhere and they're differentiable everywhere because their graphs are smooth and usually pretty curvy. Now we gotta add a huge beware here. If our function is smooth over the entire real number line, it's both continuous and differentiable unless we have a case where we have a vertical tangent line at some point on the function. So if you notice, you look at this graph, it is continuous, right? It is connected graph. There's no breaks in the graph anywhere. It's nice and smooth, but we have a problem right around the origin here. You'll notice that if I try to draw a line that is tangent through the graph, at that point, I would have to draw a vertical line to illustrate the slope, the tangent slope at the origin. And we know that the slope of a vertical line is undefined. So our derivative is actually undefined, or we say that this function is not differentiable at that particular point at x equals zero at that x value. So this is continuous everywhere, but it is not differentiable at the origin at x equals zero. Other than a vertical tangent line, it's possible we have maybe on the graph of our function a corner or what's called a cusp where it bends in one direction, bends out the other direction. That's another place where your function might not be differentiable. So if you notice, we just have a really basic graph here, y equals absolute value x. And the idea here is that if you think about the slope of this part of the function, that's a negative slope, right? It's going down and that's actually a slope of negative one. And then on this side of the function, our slope is positive, it's actually a positive one slope. But down here, because we have a sharp corner, there's actually no unique single way to draw a tangent line through that point. I could have that be a tangent line. I could have that be a tangent line. There are many different types of slopes that could be tangent to the function at that point. So it is not actually differentiable at a corner. Same thing with our cusp over here, y equals x to the two-thirds power. You can think about there are many ways to draw a tangent line through this sharp point here at our cusp. And so we will not have a unique derivative here. So these are not differentiable at zero. They are continuous everywhere, right? Just because there's a corner doesn't mean we have a break in the graph. But when we have a sharp point like a corner or a cusp, then that tells us that we are not differentiable at x equals zero for both of these. Other than a vertical tangent line and a sharp point, functions are also not differentiable when they are not continuous. So at a discontinuity, we have something like a point discontinuity where we have a hole in the function. We would not have the derivative defined at zero here where this hole is, although all of the other x values we would have that the function is differentiable. So here at the axis, it is neither continuous nor differentiable. Same thing with a jump discontinuity. We won't be differentiable at one of those. And at an infinite discontinuity, so anywhere where the graph is not continuous, these the graph is actually not even defined here at this jump and at this infinite discontinuity, but it only takes it being discontinuous at a particular x value for things to not be differentiable. We wanna draw a distinct point here. If you have a function that is differentiable at an x value, then it's continuous at that x value. But if a function is continuous at an x value, that doesn't mean it's differentiable at that x value. Let's look back at this idea of y equals absolute value of x. And look at this point, the origin here. Is it continuous here? Yes. Is it differentiable? No. So just because I was continuous at the origin didn't mean I was also differentiable. It's a sharp point, it's not differentiable there. But if you think about on this function, perhaps look at a place where it is differentiable, is it also continuous there? Yes, it is. So oftentimes when we look at the graph of y equals absolute value x, this gives us a good example of how to remember, does continuous imply differentiable or does differentiable imply continuous? Because it's only one of these, it's not both.
Functions are also not differentiable at an endpoint, a similar thing with imagining what's going on at the ends here. I could draw many, many tangent lines through this endpoint here. Here we have an upper semicircle. We have y equals the square root of 4 minus x square. What you'll notice about this is that it is definitely continuous on the interval negative 2 to 2, including its endpoints, but it's not differentiable at the endpoints. Okay, so at negative two or at positive two, there are many, many different tangent lines I could draw. I could even draw a vertical tangent line. So not differentiable at the endpoints. So we make a note that this is really only differentiable inside of the open interval, negative two to two, not including the endpoints, x equals two and x equals negative two. Okay, everyone, hopefully this gives you some help on drawing a distinction between continuity, differentiability, and also how they affect one another. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.